What's up, fellas? Today we got an iPod Mini. This one is a first generation model from back in 2004. And you can tell for a couple, two ways. One, it doesn't have the storage capacity on here. Two, now this is a silver one, so it doesn't really have an effect, but if you had like a green one or a pink one or something along those sorts, the text here, it would match the, the chassis. But on the first gens, they're all just gray and boring. Picked this guy up from eBay about a year ago, threw a new battery in it, works great. Today though, I wanna try and get it to sync to a modern Mac. The Mac I'm using is this 2022 M2 MacBook Air. So I'd say it's decently modern, it's about three years old, not too bad. I mean, like it's still an 18 year age gap, which is really insane when you think about it. All right, I got Apple Music going. Now I just gotta plug her up with the old 30 pin connector. Oh my God, focus. Don't buy an iPhone, buy a Samsung. I swear, man, iPhones just hate to focus on things. Like this thing was 1100 bucks. It better focus better. I mean, now it's focusing. Call me crazy if you want. These things never focus. All right, got her old 30 pin. Plug her up here. Hey, there she goes. Oh, it's beeping at me. Whoa, what was that? Oh, maybe I should unlock it. Oh, it shows up on here for about a second and it stopped beeping. And it's back on here. Back to the waiting game. All right. It says do not disconnect and it's the sync stuff. Oh, I just realized that it's on the Mac. All right, it's been loading for about a minute now. John get why, because I know there's not a lot of stuff on this iPod. I guess I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Selected device could not be found. What does that even mean? It still says do not disconnect. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna try to eject it. And I'm gonna keep an eye on this to see if it does anything different. It's not ejecting, so I'm just gonna unplug it, plug it back in. All right, pop back up on the Mac. Now we play the waiting game again. All right, we got it loading now. Something interesting I just found. So it shows up in Finder just fine. I can go through all this, I have some MP3s on here, calendar, all this stuff. But for whatever reason, it's not showing up on Apple Music. I really don't see any signs of it actually picking up here. So I'm just gonna unplug it and walk y'all through the OS. We can go ahead and close this Mac. We're just left with the boy. I'm gonna turn the slide on so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, so on the main page here, you got music, extras, games, basically everything you could ever want. There's some music on here. Definitely not a lot. Oh, that's the wrong button. This, the click wheels can be kind of iffy. It's really cool to look back at these and see what daily life would be like without modern cell phones. Like everyone carried around either iPods or really want to be iPods. Something I wish I had was the original headphones. A, so I can make fun of them. And B, I don't know, I guess it just enhances the experience. Also, they would be really disgusting though. So in a way, I'm kind of glad I don't have them. I wish I had something to go with this accessory port though, because I would like to have fun with that. Here it is compared to a modern iPod, and you can just see how far we came. Like this is 2004, this is 2019. I mean, really 2012. The 7 came out in 2019. This design came out in 2012, so take of that what you will. Look at that thinness though, like oh my god. I'm so happy that we got rid of the 30 pin connector though. You see how something this thin could fit a whole 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but then they don't put it on the thicker, more expensive iPhones. Like I said, this design is from 2012, and our 2025 iPhones don't have a freaking headphone jack, bro. My bad. I, I probably shouldn't be doing this because these are actually kind of going up in value. I showed this, but I forgot to mention it. I love this belt clip accessory. Just slides on like this. And you can snap it on to any kind of piece of clothing you got or really whatever. 
Like, this is back when Apple actually cared about you, man. Like, now they just throw you a phone and a 50 cent cable and expect you to pay a thousand dollars. Alright, well, that's really all I wanted to look at today. It's kind of a bummer I couldn't get this to actually pop up in Apple Music, but oddly enough, it showed up in Finder. I don't know, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.